Hey, uh, I hope everything works. I'm doing live uh, stream training on Twitch. That's my first time. I need to put it on Twitter. Uh, I will put it at YouTube. I rescued George when he was two years old. Nope. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so this, uh, this stream, this live training is gonna be about uh, how we can make... Ah, oh, god damn it, the worst! Sorry about that. Uh, this live training is going to be about... Um, going to be about this. I will show you. So, as you can hear, okay, should be. Sorry about that. Okay, <laughs> should be fine now. Uh, this is the sound of this hammer hitting this thing, and. As you can hear, it every sound is different, and all the thing I did here, I did it in sound cue. So I use all the sound cue notes uh, for making it uh, random. Okay, I will delete it and I will make it from the scratch. I have all my sounds. I use it here. This is debris. Three samples of it. This is some high pitch hit. This is one low hit and some sword sound. So I'm putting it here. And I start probably with the sword. No, that's debris. Here is the sword. If you select uh, all the um, file, all the notes here, and you start typing, for example, random, you already connect all the uh, notes to the random random note. So I can take this hit because it's also going to be randomized. And let me just quick look at this. Okay, so when we play this note, random by default has randomized without replacement uh, enabled. It means that it will not uh, repeat the same sound uh, right after each other. So it's it is one, two, three, two, one, three. It's not going to be one, one, two, two, or three, three. And we can use modulator to it. It is a default note that it will modulate and randomize pitch in the range of um, like 5% minus and 5% plus and also volume in the same range. You have to be caution with this because sometimes I can show you with the single node. you can probably hear the changing in pitch and this is not how sound uh, reacts uh, in real world. It's like doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't like it. Uh, let me just change it to 1.02 maybe. So I change the 10% distance to... Oh, should be... Three six percent distance. You can still hear it, uh, but if you mix it with another thing, like I did here, it's going to be okay. Um, this is very modal sound, and I will not make a modular pitch to it. All I can do, I think, is. Um, make only the modular of the volume so I set a pitch to one 
What I mean by modular sound, no, sorry, not modular sound, modal sound. It means that it has a lot of frequencies and it doesn't have noises because all the sounds uh, are made with modal sounds and noises. And if you can really hear the, um, you can really hear the frequency on this. And if I connect it to pitch and I set it up to, for example, like this, it plays melody and we don't want that. So let's set it up to default. So there's no randomize in pitch, there's only randomize in volume. Yeah, but we can make it even larger. So 20%. It's good enough. Okay, so we have this. So we have two uh, stage of randomized sound. One is random, so we select every time different different sample and we also modulate it volume with volume modulation. So we can mix it. But what we can do here is we can use another note named delay. So delay is a note that randomizes uh, the timing of the sound. If it's set up to zero, it always uh, play at the same time. But if I set it up to, for example, uh, one zero oh, point one second, it will play. You can't hear it, but maybe if I change it. Yeah, but half second is a lot. Uh, let me set it up to this much and let's hear it now. Ah, what I did. Okay, so it is randomized with different notes. There is a modulator here and there is also delay and they are mixed. What we can do else? We can make this debris. So let's take it and let's use random of course. But what I did here I did a uh, like reverb in sound cue, almost, or maybe a delay. Um, so I use modulator uh, here because I can just copy it and made three of them. In this case, I can make bigger pitch randomness because this is not model sound it is it has it is more like noise sound there is more noises in this debris sound than model sound so you can you can't really hear the frequency you can't sing the sound like like this one if you have absolute hearing you can say okay this is c sharp or something but in this case this is just noise. It's just like footsteps on leaves. This is just noise. So if we use a lot of pitch on it, let me check uh, here like this. You can't really hear it like in this case. You hear? So in case of not model sounds, but sounds that have more noise in it, you can use bigger um, pitch randomness. There's also volume randomness and it is the same on every. But why do I need three? Because I, also I am also using delay, but I am using delay in that manner 
that um, like I will I will do it first and then I will tell you what I did. Also, if you have uh, nodes um, selected, uh, you type mixer. The mixer, the notes will be applied to the mixer already. So I mix this sound with this sound and with this sound, but this sound is delayed in the with distance with timing um, in the range of 0.1 and 0.2 seconds, and this one is uh, even bigger, so we can hear it. So, it works like this, first it plays this sound, it goes here, it is modulated, it is mixed, then it plays this sound, but this sound is delay, and it is mixed with the first one, and then it plays this sound, also modulated, and delay even more, and mix with the rest. But, uh, because there is random here, it can start with this sound, then it can play this sound and then this sound and every there's nine uh, right am I right yeah there's nine uh, uh, ways of playing this this uh, random stuff so we have only three sounds here but with this setup made only in sound queue we made it really really random and can't really tell that there are three different sounds here. So we can mix it. It's beginning to sound really cool. Uh, the next thing we can do is we can add this low sound. It's a good party. And this sound, you can also pitch a lot because it is low. And if I mix it with other sounds that are, um, if I mix it with other sounds, you can't really hear uh, the melody with the very low sounds. It, it is better, you can really hear the pitch changing in the high sounds. If there is a low sound, low sound, you can't really hear it. You know what we can do? We can even make this thing even more various. No, that's too much. Yeah, that's better. But I use one more note this is crossfade by distance so i use this note to even maybe not randomize but make the sound more immersive um to the player crossfade by distance uh crossfades between two sounds based on distance so you can set it up when you are close to the sound cue you can hear one sound and if you are far from the sound cue you can hear another sound and you can mix it fluently between them but in this case i use it only one sound so what i did here is um here here are the settings and fade in is set up to zero fade in start setup fade in and set up to zero and fade out distance start it's set up to 100 it means that from zero distance to 100 distance this sound plays full volume and from 100 distance to 3000 distance in decrease in volume so when i'm far from when i'm far from the sound i can't uh, really hear the low uh, this low sound i can i can hear it only when i'm close to it 
and I also mix it with everything. I could use one mixer to all of it, but when I do it this way, I can uh, switch, I can check all the sounds, uh, all the groups like, like this. I can hear only the low sound. And I can show you, because I can't show you this crossfade distance in sound cue, obviously, because you have to have distance there. So. so when it's close, you you see him loudly. And when it's far, you can't see it. There's obviously attenuation settings on it, but if I mix it with all the sounds, you can really hear it. Yeah. Okay, there is one more thing I need to show you, uh, attenuation settings, because they are... Uh, why do I have a box here? I don't know, but it doesn't matter. Um, what matters is this air absorption, uh, which is set up to... The distance is between 100 and 3000, it's like before, and uh, this is low low pass cut of frequency uh, so when you are close to it the 20,000 Hertz is the maximum frequency human ear can hear so at the distance 100 the low pass cut of frequency is at the max so it doesn't cut off anything but when you go farther farther from the from the sound and you reach free thousand units uh, this low pass cut of frequency will decrease to 5000 hertz so it will uh, from 20000 to 5000 it will decrease the uh, it will cut off the high frequencies so i can show you it even better if i set it up to even smaller value Yeah, you can't hear all the high frequencies at all. But 1000 is too much, 5000 is pretty okay. Okay, that's all. Uh, that was my first live stream. I will put it on YouTube. Um, I hope you guys like it and I will appreciate comments. I will be happy to answer them. Thanks, bye.